All right, beautiful people, what is up? Johnny Lee Montrose photo video here, and today we're doing an ultimate 50mm shootout, starting with the 50mm Sony F1.8 Nifty 50. We are throwing in the Helios 44-2 58mm f2 lens. It is a clone of the wonderful Zeiss Biotar 58mm f2. For funsies, we're also throwing in the Minolta MC 50mm f1.7 and the Minolta MD 50mm f2. So let's slap them on a camera and see what we get. So here we are in Lightroom. We're just going to take a look at some of the images from the different 50mm lenses. Okay, so let's start here. This is the Helios uh, at 1 125th f2 ISO 1600 to achieve this exposure right here. We'll punch in. It's sharp, but it's kind of um, low contrast. It's kind of faded looking. All right. That was a second test, sanity check. All right, this is the Zeiss, same settings. You can see I see more contrast here. And maybe a touch more sharpness. Check the next one, sanity check. Yep, it is both sharper and has more contrast, a little more uh, darkness here. Like we don't have that faded look. Minolta, 1.7 at 1.7, still ISO 1600s. You can see it is definitely a little brighter. And this is extremely sharp. I would say this is sharper than the Helios. Let's see. Yeah. Sharper than the Helios. I don't think it's as much contrast as the Zeiss. A little AB maybe in a little bit, but uh, definitely sharper than the Helios. Definitely more contrast than the Helios. I actually like this look a lot. This looks great to me. This is the Minolta 1.7 at 2.8 first. I don't know why I did the Minolta F1.7 at 2.8, 1600. Here, this is freakishly sharp. Um, yeah, and you lose a little bit of that glow at the 1.7 end. All right, let's check out. This is the Minolta F2 at F2, also at a 1600 ISO. And this is sharp. These are all pretty sharp. This, I'll check my sanity check. Maybe I missed focus, but this does not look quite as sharp, possibly, as the 1.7 Minolta. There's our sanity check. Actually, it's... Probably almost the same. These are these are all very, very good results. Here's the Sony F1.8, the same settings, but at 1.8. So you can see it is much brighter because it's actually a little bit overexposed, but let's see just how sharp it is. Now that is quite sharp. That may be the sharpest one yet. I don't know, it'd be hard, hard sand between it and the Minolta. They're both very sharp. Okay, so this is the same lens, but at f2, so that we can compare directly with the other lenses. And I would say it is definitely sharper at f2 than anything we've seen. Um, not crazy crazy, but definitely sharper, I think. All right, this is the Sigma Art 1.4. At 1.4, you can definitely tell it is overexposed because the 1600 ISO was actually set for the f2 aperture but we can look at the sharpness here and oops I punched in too far here we go we can look at the sharpness and this is very 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 sharp matter of fact we'll punch into 200 um, that is extremely sharp let's see what it's like at f2 this is the Sigma art at f2 and it is wicked sharp. I believe it, it, it actually looks sharper to me. Not a ton, but a little bit than at 1.4. So this is definitely a wicked sharp lens. Okay, this is the Helios 44-2 58mm. It's 
farthest focus. Closest focus. Alright, this is the Zeiss 58mm F2. And then back to its closest. Alrighty, this is the Minolta 50mm F1.7. It's the farthest distance. Back to its closest. Okay, this is the Minolta 50mm F2. It's farthest focus. Closest focus. Here we have the Sony 50mm F1.8 at its closest focus. We rotate through. And this flyby wire system sucks. Let's do it again. Okay, we have the 50mm Sony F1.8. Rotate through the focus to its farthest point. And back to its closest focus. Okay, here we are. This is the Sigma 50mm 1.4 at its closest focus. Rotate through to its farthest focus. Rotate back. Oh my goodness! Something showed up on my face. Well, it took a little longer to film this. I mean, it took a little longer to uh, put this all together than I thought. And I ended up taking a trip and doing some photo shoots and having a lot of fun in between and got fuzzy. Weird. But let's get into it. What are my thoughts after doing this test? So after doing this test, some things were very evident. Um, the vintage glass overall had lower contrast especially the Helios and the Zeiss um, and the 1.7 Minolta. The F2 Minolta had just a touch more. On the autofocus side, it was obvious that the newer lenses were sharper than the vintage uh, lenses. Not a ton, but it was obvious. Let's go through these old lenses here. The Helios, I like but I don't love. It has a great look, but of the lenses here, yes, it's inexpensive, but I think there are other manual lenses that are better for me. Now, the Zeiss, this lens is worth a few bucks. I could sell it on eBay and make a decent return. Um, but I'm disinclined to sell it just because it's awesome. Like, it's just neat to have one. Um, I like the optics. The bokeh was nice. It's a little low contrast for me. It's still not my favorite of the vintage glass. Now, the F1.7 uh, Minolta, I really like, but it does have, you could say a flaw, it could be a good thing for you. The 1.7 flares, a, like, a lot. And when light is coming anywhere near the front of the element, it just loses contrast because it's not, you know, the ND series was coded differently. Um, so, if you like that, that's great. For me, when I use this lens, I pretty much always put a lens hood on it to keep that contrast because I like it. Now, the F2 version, shush, the F2 version, I pretty much never put a lens hood on and I like it quite a bit and I use it quite a bit. Shush! The obvious benefit of these vintage lenses is a manual focus ring. You can dial it in smoothly and get exactly where you want to go. Whereas when you're shooting video on a newer digital style lens, that's harder to do. Some of the cameras have the touch screen on the back where it'll kind of shoot to it. But if you want to really control the speed, because they're kind of a drive-by wire system, it tries to guess, depending on how slow you're rotating it, how fast it wants to go. 
so it's not the greatest for smooth focus pulls in video. The benefit to the autofocus lenses obviously is autofocus. Now, with that being said, they're also a little sharper. But what do I think about the Sony F1.8? Um, the autofocus on it is slow, and it likes to do like this. It kind of hunts, and it, normally it'll, and then lock. But you have to wait for that to happen every time, and that's even with an A7 III. So I don't recommend that lens unless you're on a tight budget, and you know that's great. I think you would be better suited with a vintage piece of glass if you're going to not spend very much money. Now, what about the Sigma Art? Well, the Sigma Art is actually on its way out. I like this lens. It is very sharp. The 1.4 is great to have. And it produces nice results. However, I found a fatal flaw in it is that when you are somewhere around f8 and you've got that aperture closed down and you're shooting towards the sun, so a backlit subject, this thing won't autofocus for anything. It just, in my experience, it doesn't do well when you shut it down. Um, you had it wide open, it did pretty okay on my a7 III. It did just, I took it on a shoot with bright sun coming in and it just, I fought it the whole time. Not to mention, this is very heavy. Okay, for my shooting style, a lot of times I'm by myself, and I've got the camera in this hand, and I'm shooting it out here sometimes, and I'm holding in this hand a light, and I'll be holding it up, you know, kind of like this. So, so I'm like this, balancing all this weight out here, and after you're doing that for a long time on a shoot, this starts to not be so much fun. So, even though optically this was probably the best performer, the flaws and the weight, this is going away. Now, what about the Sony F1.8? It's going away too. Um, it's just that autofocus is too slow for me, and it's not the sharpest quality. It's just not that great. It's okay, it's a good performer, but the autofocus being so slow makes me really not like it. So what am I keeping? Well what's actually going in my kit is a lens that we haven't seen yet. This guy is the 55mm f1.8 Zeiss. This is on my Sony a7 III the fastest focusing lens I have used period. The autofocus on this is super quick. It seems to be very reliable and is fantastic. Would I like to have one for? Yeah, but you know what? This thing is light. It's tiny, light, like that's that's the whole the whole lens. Let's let's compare that. To this thing. You compare this little guy to this you can quickly see where this has benefits. It is also extraordinarily sharp. This little guy, this little Zeiss, this is probably the sharpest lens I've ever used on my a7 III. Not to mention the fastest autofocus. So, between that, the weight savings, and the fact that this lens and the Sigma Art lens cost roughly the same amount of money, I gotta give it to this guy. And it has fantastic colors, Fantastic bokeh. I'll actually show you the bokeh here. The colors won't match exactly because I didn't have exactly the light or the same lighting conditions as we had in our previous test. But you can see there's a lot more contrast. The colors pop. The bokeh is beautiful. And this little guy, he's a lot more solid than the Sony F18. And this is what's going in my kit permanently. Now, I'm still keeping around the Minolta F2 absolutely. Um, and probably the 1.7, because it's a little dreamier, I can get some cool dreamy effects with it if I need something that kind of, uh, you know, loses contrast when you fade up into the sun. So those two are definitely staying. Um, the Helios is probably on its way out. I like it, I don't love it. And the old vintage Zeiss, 
that, of course, this guy is based on. I might keep it just for nostalgia's sake, or I might go ahead and sell it and put the money towards some other fun toy. So that is my Sony 50mm or 50-ish millimeter shootout. Let me know what you think. None of these really are bad performers. They're all great pieces of glass. But for me, my needs, this little guy, the one that I didn't even get to test because I got it in after I was done shooting all these tests, um, this little guy is going in my kit. So let me know what you think and which lens would you keep. All right. Bye.